Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Serie A jersey review. As you know Serie A is my favorite league and so the jersey review for Serie A is always my favorite one. I kept it for last of the big leagues that I'm reviewing that I've been doing reviews so far. Uh, not only keep best for last but also I know that Serie A more than any other league is likely to release jerseys uh, during the season later on I'm sure that during the editing process that one of the big teams is for sure gonna issue another special jersey so yeah wearing a jersey that Milan uh, became champions in so very happy about that but before we go a little bit further into the review I also would like to know from you where should I take the jersey reviews next I really would like to do one should I go to you know look at uh, the group stages of the three European competitions uh, and get a little bit more eclectic with uh, internationality and so on or should I do for the first time an Eredivisie or Liga Portugal jersey review um, where I don't have as many jerseys as I have for like Serie A or others but it could also be interesting to do so so please let, let me know in the comments below in any case all the jerseys that I'm gonna show you in here I will rate on a scale from 1 to 10 with 1 being the worst 10 being the best it's a very personal rating this is how I feel this jerseys and I try to do it as live as possible um, I also take all the pictures from Football Kit Archive, which is a, a web page. If you're interested in jerseys, that I can highly re recommend because you can see, look through the histories of most teams and also go league by league and see what is on offer there. Now, the way I decide on which team goes in which video, we have here 20 teams, which I split into four. So we have five teams in each video. I'll take last season standings, go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And then the team is assigned to the video and so champions milan of course my favorite team we also have atalanta who i'm wearing uh hellas verona we have in here and then we have spezia and salernitana and because i sort them uh the way i will pronounce them uh alphabetically so i'm not saying ac milan i say milan milan goes a little bit further down the list so we start with the team that I'm wearing Atalanta and we'll see here their latest home jersey again produced by Homa and to be frank there's not really much wrong with that one it's a, it's, it's a standard Atalanta look I actually like the sleeve because I like a little bit more the emphasis on the blue so we have a blue center stripe uh, we also have that the collar and the sleeve cuffs uh, are more blue and black, um, which I think is a nice way to also distinguish themselves a teeny bit from Inter, if you would like. Um, of course, the crest is centered as a typical in Serie A, so there's usually a sponsor put on there uh, to the uh, where the crest should be, which is yeah probably not so nice. Because other than that, the arrangement doesn't make a whole lot of sense. A European jersey like this, they usually then go with the um, crest on, on the proper left side. I think we're starting quite high here. I have, have to say I do enjoy this jersey. I'm going to give this an 8 star rating. Uh, the away jerseys for Atalanta as of late have been uh, really, really good. I have, have to say this one leaves me a little bit mad. I mean, it's again... The white one with the goddess on there, which is really, really nice. But um, putting the club's colors only here on top of the shoulder seems to be a little bit of an opportunity missed. How about the center band with the uh, sponsor on, on there? I think this could have been nicer. What I do like, though, is that the, um, you see that uh, the blue is rather proper, but then the floppy color is black and it actually extends as an outline over the collar as well it's not a bad jersey but you know it's nothing special either so i think this uh, should be considered a six star right there and then they carry over the third jersey from the last season and honestly i was never really sold on the color i understand it's kind of a little bit atalanta because it still retains a bluish color i do like the pinstripe effect however i think this would be a much better jersey if you have actually a pinstripe if you make this in white and have this the away jersey, I think this would look a whole lot better. I'll stick with the five star because it's kind of odd looking. Oh, this is not the last Atalanta jersey. We look at we also have a anniversary jersey. I think it's for 115 years of Atalanta. And here we see the sponsor, the Radici Group. 
Yeah, I don't know what to tell you about this one. I think I've seen it in match and I was baffled by it. Yes, it should be horizontal bands, but then with, uh, you know, kind of fading in and out, there's a, maybe a sound wave pattern in there. It's wild. It's wild, but it's mostly weird. It kind of reminds me a bit of the Barcelona Centenary logo. Uh, take it for what this is. Um, <sighs> Not my favorite. Not my favorite. It's a. It. I know what 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 they were doing. If it was uh, more of a, more of a gradient going on, not so uh, wild. I think I could get on board. Where it, but this way, it's just a four star. And we move on a little bit to the east, and we'll go to Verona, where we have Hellas Verona, with the new home jersey by uh, Macron. Classic. Hellas look, of course, we have, uh, meanwhile, already the new uh, logo, um, which has been in use for, 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 for a while. It's overall rather plain. I mean, the devil is, uh, as always, in the detail. There is a shadow pattern with the cross, which is made up of the crests, uh, put a little bit further in it, which is kind of a decorative pattern, which, we, which, which looks quite nice, to be honest. Uh, but it is really a cross, which of course stands also for the city of Verona. City of Verona is a yellow cross on a blue shield. Uh, is not immediately recognizable. But uh, like we said in France, I, I actually do like the standard jerseys of um, Macron this year. Quite some with the thick collar and the thick sleeve cuffs. That is nice. But um, then the sponsor take it a little bit down again. And therefore, a jersey that with a nicer sponsor, I probably would have given a 7 or 8. We are, I think... I feel more comfortable with a six the way it is pictured here. The away jersey, honestly, I gotta say, um, I understand yellow. I don't understand the bright yellow. That, that, that just doesn't do it. The color is really nice. And I also think that the cuffs, where you have a little tri uh, a darker yellow uh, tri triangle, is also quite nice. But yeah. <clears throat> This is one of those colors. It doesn't want to be white. It doesn't want to be yellow. It wants to be an in-between. And I'm not sure I'm getting a board with it. Because it's not even off color white or, or, or whatever. It's just a very un undefined color. Although the overall, you know, with the side outlines and the uh, the color and the curves. And, and so there, there is something there. But again, it's not a great shirt. But I do like it better than the home jersey. So I'm going to go seven here. Uh, and the third jersey shares a color with what we saw a third jersey for Atalanta and it's again It's the color that puts me a little bit off because what I do like is the pattern on the bottom, which of course is the uh, arena in Verona uh, If you have been there uh, It's of course the landmark of the city of Verona uh, in, in, in a way the color does look a teeny bit weird, but you know the V of course stands for for Verona, so that's nice. Uh, I do like the reference to the arena, but I would have liked to take this for an all yellow jersey, and I think this would look really nice. Again, the color is somewhere in between the blue and the yellow. You know, kinda is there, so I do understand that. It just doesn't quite do it for me and uh, arena doesn't really save it so i'm gonna go the same grade as with atalanta right here and we make it a five star and we are at milan and the home jersey i mean it has long been leaked that this will be very similar to the one that they were wearing from 2000 to 2002 with the big black shoulders and then there's only the bottom in black and red stripes when it was released, I think my first thought was this is a whole lot of black. But on the other side, yes, and there's a box on there. But then it doesn't look as bad as it probably could have us on. But it's also not a super exciting jersey, honestly. Okay, we see the return of the Italy flag, which fit. You have the Scudetto. I think for once, putting the sleeve cuffs in Italian flag design. Okay, I'm fine with it. Uh, let's do it. And maybe if you would not have the one, the Scudetto, I would have uh, railed against it. But I'm I, I'm fine. Uh, the color is maybe a little a little bit weird. I don't mind actually the all black shoulders. I do mind a little bit more that the the, the stripes 
the red stripes are just kind of, you know, four lines that are painted on and otherwise it's a very, very black jersey. There is a reason why in the review videos I have been using basically this one as a standing because this is the closest I have to this current home jersey, uh, to be honest. Spawns are not great, Scudetto applied nice, uh, nicely, but it is a jersey that is so and so. Of course I will want to have it. Uh, let's not talk around that fact, but it is not a jersey that I'm really, really uh, on board with. I like it better than last season's. Uh, also, should I give it a 5 star or should I give it 6 star? I would say I'll give it a 5 star because I think it's a little bit more appropriate here. What's Way better though is the away jersey. Finally, finally Puma got it right. Finally Puma got it right because we have seen so many away jerseys. I mean, I was on board with this one because it was a slightly different color. And yes, I just have uh, slammed the uh, not defined yellow color, but I actually like this slightly because this is more off uh, center, off white or, or, or whatever. But Puma have never done the Milan home jersey right until now. You need to have the white and then with black and red together. It looks really, really cool and it goes back to a design from the early 80s with the horizontal striping. This immediately went all the way on the top of my personal want list. Uh, regardless of how the season goes, and of course it has to have the Scudetto on there. And in, in addition, it also made the top 10 jerseys uh, of for, for, for me that they had were released in the past year. It is a really brilliant look. Again, the only thing is why are the stripes so boxed in? That's maybe the one thing, if this would go around, I think I would like it even better. But everything else here, I'm super, super in, fa in favor of. Um, I'm gonna give this a nine star rating. The best one for Milan cost the third jersey. Ah, uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, is this an abomination. Again, there's a cross in there, which is kind of uh, paying homage to the city of Milan. Again, a red cross on a white background, as it is in the Milan logo. But uh, this sp uh, spiel with, yeah, give me, we, we make a modern twist on the... I'm sorry. I think the best one of this, the best and, and the worst feature are the um, names that's on the back, which are black and then outlined in lime green, which kind of looks cool, honestly. But overall, uh, these are colors that I do not like. I really do, do not like. And so I, I'm not in favor of this one. This is a real turd for me. I'm going to give this two star. Uh, Puma, very, very hit and miss this season for my favorite team, unfortunately. Moving further south, going all the way to Salerno. And we have Salernitana. And uh, Zeus is the uh, manufacturer here. And again, actually, I think Zeus have done a really good job. Last season set was actually overall quite remarkable. This season is maybe a little bit simpler, but I, there's also a common theme in there. The double sponsor is something that is not so great, but what I do enjoy here is uh, the slight gradient around the crest, which makes the crest pop just a little bit more than it would otherwise, uh, than the Zeus flashes. It's a really simple jersey, but I think this just gradient elevated a little bit more. Still, that because of the sponsors, I'm only gonna go six here, but you know, that's a higher grade than I have given for Milan, so that should tell you something. I really enjoy the away jersey playing with uh, the colors, you know, you have coming kind of the C, <laughs> if you like, with the grayish blue and then you go to the club's colors, you, you play really with, with the gradient. Maybe the color, if it would go all around and not just, just in front, it would will, it will be nice and there's a little bit more paneling going on on the sides, which we already had on the other one, but there was black and not so visible. But I have to say, this is a, actually over a quite a nice jersey. It's just not uh, perfect in a way um, because of the sponsors. But I really, really enjoy that, that one. Uh, if I was getting a Salernitana shirt, this might actually be the one. Probably I should get a Salernitana shirt. Yeah, let's see about that. Um, I'm also between seven and eight. I, I think the sponsors make it a seven, uh, to be honest. The third jersey is though a little bit more uh, of a head scratcher for me. Not that I mind the color and the accent color uh, as the club's colors, but uh, this hint of a cross 
you know, there's an L and then there's a half a T in there. That looks downright weird. The collar is fine, the sleeve cuffs, everything else is actually rather fine, but these angles in there don't make any sense to me personally and actually uh, take this jersey down quite a bit. And yeah, someone would have to explain it to me, I guess, uh, to get it. I'm giving this a three because it just doesn't seem complete in any way. Uh, especially the one, I mean, around the crest, I maybe kind of to accentuate the crest, but the one that is down on the right, uh, really, I think it should be a cross, but it uh, just isn't. And then we have a third jersey, um, which I think goes a tad too dark. We have this darkish gray. There's again two gradients in there and each gradient in the middle has a, a slight red stripe, which I think is nice. But then the only thing you can really see are the sponsors. The manufacturer logo is in dark red. The crest is blackened out with just the seahorse being in dark red. I actually would have wished the seahorse to be here in white or even take the full color crest. And I think this would look a little bit better. So it is too much focused on the sponsors for my liking. It's almost a blackout jersey without being a blackout jersey because you have the first, the full color sponsor. So uh, in that sense, a little bit of miss. Is it a strong look? Yes. Uh, I just don't like it better than a home jersey, to be honest. So yeah, for that reason, I think I'm gonna go five here. Sorry, sorry for 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 the average grade, but I think I, I feel rather strongly about this one. And then we have another menu uh, a jersey, which is a f um, now the fifth jersey already, which was a specialty jersey. This one um, I have a little bit harder time uh, putting, uh, you know, get 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 my feel on because I don't know what the constellation on the bottom is. Uh, and on, on the top is meant to be. I do like the colors though. Uh, you know, Salentana is at the sea, so having a little bit of the blue in there, I just wanna know are the star constellations in there because that's what it looks to me. And then leaving ample space for the sponsors. But overall, this is not a bad one. Um, maybe a little bit, a little bit wild, but uh, here, all the application, the seahorse is also in silver, the, the sponsor is in silver, the manufacturer logo is silver, the flashes are in silver. It kind of makes a little bit sense. It's just uh, the pattern that doesn't make much sense. So um, with a little bit more, I think I could give this even a high, higher card grade, but I want to go uh, with six here. We stay rather average. Our final team is teeny tiny Spezia off the coast of Liguria, South Liguria. Uh, close to Cinque Terre. Uh, Cervis have been there, uh, um, many manufacturer. And while I think there's something nice about what the sponsors represent, the sponsors just don't fit on the jersey. I think here going with all black or, you know, have it at least with this, uh, the one Italian championship title that they want during the to, 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 to war. It's not an official Scudetto, but they can display this. Uh, if it would fit better with that, I think this jersey would look much better. Uh, there is a slight, uh, you know, um, asymmetry with the collar being on one side right, uh, black and also on the bottom on one side black. Uh, the um, crest is the very simple one, but it's really the sponsors that take this jersey down. Uh, and despite it says Distretti Ecologici, so there's something with ecology there. And La Mia Liguri is, of course, a local sponsor. So there, there is something to like about it. It just doesn't look very pleasing. And for that reason, I can only give this a four star uh, rating. Uh, the same problem we have with the black away jersey, although here, for some reason, I don't mind it as much. But it's the same jersey where we just uh, replace black with black and white. I don't know why, the, why it looks better on black, honestly, but uh, I still want to give it the same grade. Where it is completely salvaged, uh, the look is, of course, with the fourth, jer uh, no, third jersey, which uh, is one of the uh, newest, latest collector's item from Serie A, uh, of course, which is an homage to Cinque Terre with all the colors, the colorful houses. Look, 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 look it up, uh, how it looks like. I, at first I thought, yeah, does this fit to the glass? No, but it fits. Uh, very well with the region. It's a really nice, nice shirt. 
One that I wouldn't mind having and here what I like is that you know the sponsors don't have a lot of color because there's so much color on the shirt on on the shirt. I really wouldn't mind having having shirt, but it's not your uh, typical Spezia shirt, but it's a very very colorful shirt. It's definitely one of the highlights of this Serie A season. It has been worn I think at a away game against the Juve and maybe at a home game as well and I hope we'll see it a little bit more. But just for the nod to a local uh, site, I want to give it a uh, nine star and because it overall looks rather pleasing. And so we have the first set of jerseys in the books. Please let me know which jerseys you liked in here. Where do you agree? Where do you disagree with my ratings? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. See you more. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!